My name's Wes Kennedy. I, I'm the uh, owner and founder of JW Kennedy Surveying. My name is James Kennedy, uh, AKA Chug. I work for my father who has had the uh, company open since 1996. One of the things that has made Kennedy Surveying different uh, than most other survey firms in, uh, in our region, at least in North Florida, has been our dedication to accuracy. You know, I don't say that lightheartedly. We, we put a lot of dedication into ensuring our work meets the standards that we per portray to our client for a specific project. I think what set Kennedy apart from my perspective was his singular focus on accuracy. And you don't think about it much as a real estate developer. But once you find out that what you have is garbage and you can't work with it, then you realize how important accuracy is. The biggest thing that brought us and you know led us into doing the 3D scanners was we were getting to a, a point that it was taking a quite a bit of time to provide the data doing the conventional survey methods. When we contacted Faro, my father was very uh, skeptical to really break into this uh, 3D scanning market. His conventional survey methods of the past were, were a very tried and true method. So upon getting that scanner, we, we did some demonstrations with Faro. By Faro dedicating to send a sales engineer with a survey civil background out to us when we did the demonstration, you know, he kind of gave us that leading edge to understand where to set the scanner up in certain positions to, to accurately collect the data that we were after. We also spent a, a lot of time in the office to really hammer down the civil workflow of, you know, providing civil survey uh, maps and as-built, you know, products to, to our clients. And during this time that we did this demonstration, we were not only trying to, you know, learn about the 3D scanners, we were proving the accuracy residuals that Faro stated that the scanner was capable of. After we did this demonstration set, you know, I had my survey crews go back and survey some conventional survey sets. What we came to discover was that the scanner was very, very precise. I was really skeptical when we first demoed the uh, scanner. I pushed the guys to the limits. I will not purchase any, any new technology without knowing that it works. We found out that is just as accurate as the uh, conventional equipment that we use every day. To give you a prime example, we you know, set the scanner up on a bridge structure and we're able to see a roadway 300 feet down the road. And I had my survey crews go back and take some topographical survey shots on this uh, asphalt pavement roadway and compared them to the data set of the 3D point cloud. And we were blown away that 300 feet away from that scan position, we were seeing accuracies under an eighth of an inch. We've been 60 projects in and every time, not once, have we found out that the, the 3D Faro scanner has been wrong at any, any point in time. It's, uh, the results are more accurate, more precise than we can even provide with conventional survey methods. Now, Oyster Bay is about a 900 acre project, about 350 is uh, buildable land, and we've carved out uh, about 212 single family large lots down here, and on the north end some tighter density single family lots. Uh, one of the problems that we encountered was we came out here where we were laying out our yacht club, and as we were working off of our original surveyor uh, in the field, we found that nothing matched up. Everything in this project was designed around the trees. Uh, and you can see there's massive oaks and wonderful trees to work with here. And when we started designing the roads, they didn't fit. Uh, so we ended up bringing in Wes Kennedy and Kennedy Surveying Firm to come in and look at what we were, what was wrong. And we found a number of problems and they were able to tighten up the survey data to the point that we were able to get accurate uh, construction information to finish the project. The main reason we needed Kennedy here is we needed survey accuracy. When you're designing a project around thousands of trees and they're all in a CAD system and you're designing the roads and the buildings and the lot lines and the stormwater ponds around those trees, when they're in the wrong place, your designs are worthless. With doing the point cloud, we're able to extract a surface and every little imperfection of that roadway surface, every, you know, elevation, uh, you know, at every one square inch, if that's what it takes. Um, and, and your yields for a contractor, let's say going in here and wanting to, you know, either A, confirm QC, um, that everything that he paid a client to build was built properly, just anything of that nature. Yeah, I think the, the major difference that we saw with the work that Wes was giving us when we're working in AutoCAD, 
Our old surveyor was giving us several hundred points and we were trying to extrapolate that data. But when Wes started coming on board and bringing us uh, data, we were getting millions of data points from Wes in AutoCAD and that enabled us to really tighten up the design, uh, get the roads and the lot lines and the pond systems exactly where they needed to be referencing the trees that we were working around. So the most important thing that we had from Wes was accuracy. And I didn't have that from the previous surveyor and it made all the difference in the world. It ended up saving me hundreds and hundreds of hours. It gave us a great avenue to be able to bid projects cheaper, to be able to have the time on the projects really cut down. And it's just been a great tool to add to our you know, repertoire to, to really lead us into the future of land surveying.